see the sign for the gurgling suitcase. And this is our bar, and it gets its very funny name from what was going on in our American history at the same time our storyline's taking place. So what was going on back then that would affect a place like the gurgling suitcase? Prohibition. Prohibition, that's right. So as you know, during Prohibition, of course, alcohol is illegal. So in order for you to get it, you would have to sneak it. Well, very conveniently, Key West is 90 miles away from which country? Cuba. That's right. And so back then, they actually used to run ferry boats between Key West and Cuba all throughout the day. And it was very easy to get over there. So people used to bring with them an empty suitcase and they would fill it with their favorite beverage. And then they would try to sneak back into the country. Now here is where our villain is going to enter the story. All right, so I want to prepare you. All right, so if you need to hold hands or anything or whatever. All right, so just like Maleficent does in Sleeping Beauty with fire and smoke effects, you're gonna see Uncle Sam arise in the middle of Key West and he's mad. He's looking around at everyone. He says, I'm gonna get you my pretties. Uh, Wizard of Oz was on the night before. So, anyway, so he said, I'm gonna get you my pretties and I'm gonna make your lives miserable. All right, you can never imagine them saying that to this day. So uh, he says, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a naval base right here in Key West for us. So now I have a presence and I can sneak around the island and know what y'all are up to at all times. And that's what he does. So he builds his little naval base right there. And then one of the things they notice is people coming back from these ferry boats with these suitcases and being ever suspicious says to himself, I yeah, bet there's something funny going on there, or fishy. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to station the customs agents right there at the marina to greet them when they come back and take the suitcase and give it a little jiggle. And if the suitcase makes a particular sound, a eh? That's right. They know that they're trying to sneak in the alcohol and they confiscate that suitcase right there. And you see this gentleman over here is carrying a suitcase, which unfortunately he's labeled what's in it, right? So that's why he's running extremely fast. And notice how he's doing it in flip-flops. It's really tough, right? How do you do that? Okay. Now, um, Absolutely. Have a magical day. Okay. Also, you can notice the style of artwork is very similar to the Monopoly Man, because that's the style that was popular back when all this was taking place in the early 1900s. And you also notice that he has a little souvenir from his trip to Cuba, his little Cuban hat that unfortunately it looks like he's about to lose. Uh -huh. See that there? All right. So uh, you now see how the government was able to put a stop to people sneaking in alcohol, but how are they going to stop those shipwrecks? And the answer is actually right behind you. That's right. They go and they decide that they're now going to build the Key West Lighthouse. Once they get the lighthouse built and it's operational, what do you think is going to happen to those shipwrecks? Right. So what actually happens now is the economy for Key West goes into a recession. All right. And so there are going to be some pretty dark days ahead for the people there in Key West. Um, and it won't be later until the train arrives that their economy starts to improve. Uh, so a uh, fun fact about the lighthouse, though, is that the government um, hired the first female to operate a lighthouse. And her name was Maria. And she would live in the house on the side there and make sure that every single night that lighthouse was operational. Because as long as that light was turned on, there were no wrecks happening. And this is one of the reasons why, uh, because of all the problems that it caused, the people in Key West started to ask themselves, how do you solve a problem like uh, no, global warming? Did they, did the water rise, water started to rise and stuff. Okay, no one, all right, anyway. It's a joke, I'm so it, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. yes, it, that was the joke. More coffee. <laughs> More coffee. All right, well, anyway, um, we are about to pass by the most popular, the, one of the most popular restaurants here on the island, and it's a restaurant that belonged to our very famous chef, Chef Doobie Good. And Chef Good is famous because of the fact that he serves the fastest food in all of Conk Flats. To find out the recipe for his success, just look for him on his sign and you'll see how he does it. So come follow me. Right there. <laughs> 